what is the Agile problem, first of all? We got to understand what the problem is with Agile. And I think a lot of people don't even recognize that there's a problem in software development. But the truth is that only about a third of projects actually succeed. And when you have a lot of money on the line, if you're a business and your business depends on it, that is a big gamble. That's the biggest risk actually in business today is IT and being able to get IT done correctly well on a timely basis. That's what Agile was supposed to address. And it was supposed to address it by providing good technical practices. Instead of having a long horizon for development, we shorten that horizon and we do good technical practices to incrementally build software. But that message got lost somewhere along the line. I think when the Agile industrial complex started and you know, people started to issue certifications, it's easy to teach a scrum master how to do, you know, how to organize a team. It's much more difficult to show a developer how to construct, you know, a, an enterprise system. These are the most complex systems in the world. I don't think there's anything that comes close in, to software development in terms of complexity. You know, building a house, it's, you got to move a lot of material around, but it's pretty straightforward, you know. But software is something that's really complex. And it grows very quickly into something that's very unmanageable unless we take the time to build things well. And that's really what Agile was supposed to be about, was incrementally building things with high quality. That with high quality, that, that last little few words there is so critically important. You know, the, the original authors of the Agile Manifesto, which by the way, are all programmers, those people got together 10 years later after they you know, met at Snowbird and wrote the manifesto. And you know, one of the things that came out of that meeting was that we really needed to stress technical practices more. You know, the, one of the principles of the Agile Manifesto says that you know, technical excellence enhances agility. But I say that's, that's not right. It really enables agility. And without it, we, do, we don't get agility. Because when we're talking about agility, and the original authors of the Agile Manifesto, they were talking about agility in the code, not in the people, not in the managers, not in the mindset, in the code, so that it could respond. That's why, that's why we're doing Agile, so that our code can be changeable. That's, that's what Agile means. It doesn't mean Agile people as much as it means Agile code. And to do that, we just simply need to build technical practices that do that. 